This is from One West. They had a special song for our principal, although they are facing the other side, but uh, they are telling me they'll know how to work it out. So, Madam Principal, this is a song I teach this class, One West, and they say they have a dedication to you. Thank you. From One West, it's time to go.
Thank you. Clap for one 2022. Thank you for that special song for Madam Principal and uh, the guests. We thank you so much. It's good to shake. Kwa kifupi, uh, wimbenye ilikuwa inapongeza madam kwa kazi nafanya. Na vile vile pia kujulisha uh, ya kwamba uongozi uo unaongozwa na madam sio tu hivi hivi bali ni uongozi yenye kuna uzito na umaarufu uh, thank you next group next group shairi kutoka kwa Belinda na mwenzake Mbele yenu ni Nelly Pad na Belinda Siaji kutoka kidato cha tatu kukariri shairi lenye mada tuwathamini masomo. Tunafungua bahasha, tuloweka moyoni, zetu heko kuwapasha, tuwaomba mwe makini. Domo tunapochezesha, kwa raha iso nafani, wasichana sisi nia, tunathamini masomo. Wazazi tuwa enzi, kwa kuonyesha njia, tangu matiku za enzi, tukiwa tunatambaa. Tulitulea kwa mapezi kwa kuonyesha tabia Wasichana sisi nia, chotamini matumu Shule mlitupeleka, kujenga yetu maisha Mendinayo mkafoka, ili tuwa imaisha Itoki hapo mipaka, wazazi masumisha Wasichana sisi nia, tunathamini matumu Mkuu wetu bi omoni, ametuweka vizuri Yeye sasa wetu tungi, kwa kutupa ushauri Yeye huwa ni mchidi, kwa walio na viguri Wasichana sisi nia, chotamini matumu Hatuja wata walimu, hao ni mguzo muhimu Mahitaju mizikimu, wasia wa uudumu Wahimiza tujikimu, ili tusijihukumu Wasichana sisi nia, tunathamini masomu Toshukuru weja lali, kwa kutupa asanjema Ambaye huwa muhali, kwa walio na lawama Tuwepusha na dalili, ya dambi kutuandama The wages of sin is dead Wasichana sisi nia, tunathamini masomu Shukran Uh, thank you so much kwa shairi na kwa shukuru wazazi na walimu. Haya, uh, kuna hadithi fupi tu hapa ambayo tunapewa na mwenzetu. Listen to it, get entertained. Uh, narrative. Wazel. Wewe. Wewe. Wewe 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 wewe. Wewe. Wewe wewe. Hata wewe. Ha 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 ha. This is a laughter. A laughter but not a cry. The time has come for the young to go to Adam and the Adam to go to all people. All the same. Shen and see Adamo with the narrative. Sigu rach. Shalo nyach. O miyo natu me noka match. O siyepto mit. Shalo o mena mo o nye chak mawaj. Kinda kode banda. Yom. Kabao no go randa. Kikwe makel o menda. Kodri uruok. Kalong ni go yogi handa. Wade duru kanyakla, maonge dao eligangla, kikoko kabudo hangla. Wasirre, kikwa luar punglu pangla. Riruok edo uruok, marie mota guok, manaka guok, marie mota juok, ka ido gimuok. An adis nyangia, ateko gipakuok. Thank you so much. Next, this is a play, a short play, it's called Skit. Takes only five minutes. One, two. Uh, it's a play and it takes only five minutes. This play, it is a reflection of your parents. Please watch it. These letters are telling you what they are doing under you and maybe when they are in school. So they are communicating to you. And this is the best way they can communicate to you. Please watch it. Thank you. Play. Faster. It was 5 a.m. when the serious students came to class.
An hour later, the rest of the class started settling in. At 6.50 a.m., Angela, the gossip student, went outside. Let's see what she discovered. Krista, the rich student, also arrived at this time. What's wrong with her? Krista is the guy. Come At seven, the students went to the assembly, but Krista, Perez, and Fad remained behind to copy the previous day's assignment, after which they took the books together. Good morning, class. Good morning, madam. Good morning. So, yesterday I gave out an assignment. Yes. I want to check that assignment in the next two oh, seconds. Yes.
what is your homework? Sure, I can explain. You can explain I what? So this is the thing. What I'm wearing. Tata, dress code is good. Uno na yo dress yako ama yo skirt yako. Let's make we full people. Una get. Eh, this is easy for you to carry. What you wearing? You need to na jua. Ah, Tata, uta panya ibi. Dress uno na high jeans skirt yangu. Like ni ya shule. Like ni ya kangu ni ndogo se na kubaki. Wait, wait, uta no ka ni te wait. Ah, yeah, wait, please. Food. Wait, wait, na jona pega pula. Sunya mate kuwa. As the others left, the spoiled sisters Stacy and Sharon remained in class to buy drugs from the drug dealer. Daisy saw this and reported it to the teacher. Afterwards, Fred and Perez were arrested. Hey, na kambi ya si shere hiko wa ya ma bombe bana. Hey, na fa. Hey, 
Bana. Ah, wait. You're putting it down. the day of the class and they went back to school. I repeat, whoever will be caught cheating will get a wife. office for cheating in the examination. Time is up. I'm collecting the papers. Your papers. Give me that. I said time is up. The exam was ranked and these are the results. The focus students emerged the top, parents changed along the way and got a B plus, while five didn't change and got a D plus.
from the play we learned that we are not supposed to take hard drugs. We also learned that you as parents, you should not spoil your children so much. Finally, we learned that you reap what you sow. The from three students present. The from three students present. You reap what you sow. Uh, thank you, uh, from three. I know because of technicalities, uh, but you have tried. You are showing that uh, you are telling your parents they should care a lot. Finally, we have our last item. Our last item uh, that is uh, from the music department. We have uh, a dance. This is uh, a Baganda dance and a Luya dance at the same time. Please come to stage uh, the music department, please. A music department led by Mr. Dana Wanda. They have a dance for you. Uh, the next group is a dance, and it is a, a dance from Buganda, Kampala. The dressing alone tells you a lot. If you fail to join them, you are free to join them. Kapla uh, Tutapata, that item. There is an announcement, please. Seemingly, there is a parent or some parents who have gone with the list, the registration list for from three southeast and from three east. Please, you're making it difficult for the people at the registration desk to do their work. From three uh, southeast and from three east, le uh, registration list, please return them to the registration desk. Thank you. Thank you, we are ready. We'll begin with the Luya song first, then the Baganda. Uh, please parents who can motivate, motivate your daughters as they dance. Parents motivate your daughters.
teachers of New Girls High School, please come forward, led by the deputy academics, please come. I also invite the principal, Ms. Shoyosa, teacher. Uh, the teachers uh, will tell you their names and uh, the subjects they teach and any other positions that they hold in the school. We'll start with uh, Mwalemu here. Good morning, parents. I'm Mr. Barnabas Onyango, teaching Kiswahili and Siari. Welcome. I'm HOD Kiswahili, drama patron. Thank you. My name is Frederick Odongo, a teacher of business studies, the class teacher of Form 3 North, the head of subject business studies, and the head of department technical and applied subjects. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Mr. Eric Omune. I'm the HOD Kwaso department. I'm the class teacher of 3 Southeast. I'm a teacher of chemistry and biology. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Odiambo Veronica, a teacher of biology and chemistry, last teacher of Fono First. I'm Jambo Mwalimu George Matuli, Mwalimu wa Luga, Kiswahili. Uh, mimi ni Mwalimu wa Kidato cha Tatu Magaribi, uh, HOD Co Curriculum, Karibuni. My name is Reverend Dan Awunda. I'm in charge of music in the school. Mr. Laka Kevin, a teacher of mathematics and physics, head of department of mathematics. Madam Jen Ogola, a teacher of English and literature. Akini Christine, maths chemistry. Udiambo Dan, biology chemistry. Cheryl Amon, English literature. I'm Judith Juma. Uh, in biology and chemistry, a class teacher, one West, head of subject biology. Thank you. Mrs. Wanyonyi or Madam Nelly, I'm the class teacher from One Northwest. I teach chemistry mathematics. Anifa Asiche, I teach English and literature, class teacher from One Southeast, Dean from One. Good morning, parents. Ruth Odiambo, a teacher of home science, Christian Union patron, and from one Northeast class teacher. Mary Latieno, Kiswahili Siri. I'm Jambo Ote, Walimu Godfrey Nyagol, Kiswahili history. Zachary Onyango Uluende, a teacher of English and Literature. Bonjour. Eric Otumba, teacher of French and Kiswahili. Calvin Owino, teacher of Biology and Chemistry. I'm Evelyn Odongo, a teacher of Business and Geography. Mudai Faith, teacher of History and Siari. Kelvin Odiambo, teacher of English Literature. Lawrence Omolo, Geography History. Good morning. My name is uh, Faiza Otieno. I teach Mathematics. I'm also the Head of Department, Careers. Good morning. I'm Priscilla Cargo, teacher of History, Siari. Good morning to you. I'm a teacher of mathematics and business studies. Good morning to all. I'm William Rakama, teacher of biology agriculture, in charge of exams. I'm Omo Teno, a teacher of geography and theory. Uh, my name is Anne Ingutia, deputy principal in charge of academics. I'm acting class teacher from two southeast. I'm standing in for Madam Josephine Kimeli. I teach English and literature. Good Thank morning. You. I'm Mrs. Bent Anjoga, Deputy Principal Administration. I teach Home Science. 
Good morning. I'm Mrs. Florence Omondi. I teach history theory. Uh, thank you so much, teachers. I move to the next item. We, I want to talk about uh, our form for class 2021. The form for class, sorry, 2022. The form for class 2022 are the candidates of this year. They are going to sit for examinations in November. We have 329 candidates. And uh, I want to give you the targets that the girl set, after which I'm going, to invite, um, I'm going to invite the Quality Assurance Office to launch the target of those girls. Before we came up with the targets, the girls sat down and worked out their individual targets, then class targets after that we used those targets to come up with the school targets. I'll uh, give you the subject targets and uh, the final form for targets of uh, the mean score form for 2022 that we are going to launch. Then I'll invite the Kwaso department to lead us in launching it. Uh, their target in mathematics is 8.5. English 9.0, Kiswahili 9.5, Biology 8.0, Chemistry 8.0143, Physics 8.0, Geography 10.407, History 10.0, CRE 10.5, Agriculture 8.9714, Home Science 11.00, Business 9.0, uh, sorry, music 8.75, art and design 9.0, computer 11.8333, French 9.95, and their mean score target is 9.0244, which is uh, B plan. After that, allow me to invite the Quality Assurance Office of Nia Girls High School to launch that target officially. And we should own it, all of us, the parents, the students, and the teachers, and work towards the achievement of the target of 9.0244. And we insisted that we must also add those decimals. So as a parent, if you are asked what is the target of near girls candidates, it is 9.0244 and nothing else. Let us say it so that we own it. All of us, 9.0244. Thank you. I invite Mr. Mune, the head of department, quality assurance, to take us through that process. Uh, thank you once again. The chief principal, BOA members, parents, and uh, the other guests' protocols observed. May I take this opportunity to invite all the members who are present, the members, the teachers, who are members of Kwazu, kindly come forward. And then the students kindly bring the banners here for unveiling. May I also request the class teachers of Form 4 who are there. You can also come forward. We are going to unveil the banners officially containing the targets. So I'm going to request our deputy academic to help us unveil the real target. Our chief principal will also help us unveil the real target. Then we'll have one of the principal guests, who is Professor Nikal, who is an alumni, to help us also unveil another, another banner. May I request the deputy academics to come forward and then unveil for us one of the banners. Wait. Hurry up with the scissor.
kindly the deputy unveil for us. Let's appreciate the deputy principal for unveiling it. One, two, three, all of us. Let's appreciate her. Thank you very much. May I now request our chief principal also to unveil the another academic target. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate the chief principal. May I now request the alumni, Professor Nikal. Let's appreciate Professor. Thank you very much. May the guests be seated now. If the Fongos are having any presentation, kindly, kindly, very, very fast. Some of them are carrying placards bearing their mean near strong. Any presentation again from the candidates? Very fast, please. Come over, come over very fast. The phone calls are saying they also have their national, their anthem, their class anthem, which I think we are going to obey when they are singing it. Can we listen now to your anthem? The phone call anthem. Kindly let's stand for the anthem. Kindly. Respect them just now.
Lord, here we come, the jug was near us. He knew we are the fountain of education, the class we hold in high esteem. Yes, we can, yes, we can. From the land of hope, from colors we are, ferocious we are, jugglers, jugglers. We can get seated too. They have another presentation. Maybe you can listen to it. our guests. That is our target and also the animal which the students have chosen. They have chosen on the jaguar. Jaguar we know very well how it is. This is one of the cat family members. The jaguar it is a bit rare in the other parts of the world but it is found in America. In America where the jaguar is found the name jaguar comes from the native language of Americans, which refers to one who kills using the lips. So this jaguar is having one property, which the other members of the cat family do not have. The cat family, we have the lion, panthera, leo. We have the leopard, panthera, patas. We also have the wild cat, panthera nigra. And when it comes to the jaguar, we have panthera onca. Panthera onca can swim, and it's a very powerful swimmer. So we believe that the animal which our candidates have chosen this year, they are strong, even in the waters, they are going to fight for what they want. I'm going to invite Mr. Umutieno, who is also a member of the Quaso, maybe to talk about the other items on the banners. To our chief guest, uh, chief principal, uh, deputies, parents, college teachers, and students, we have one M, as quality assurance department, we are in charge of quality. And if you look at our game for 2022 class, is a 100% transition. So the parents, as you've interacted with your daughters, we are making sure that an institution that we are going to have 100% transition. Now, our target for 2022 class is a bit of 9.0244 plus. So you know that the girls can even achieve more than 9.244. And for this class, uh, the girls gave us a scripture, and the scripture goes to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verses 4, and it says that he who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the cloud will not reap. So the advice to our girls, the 2022 class, is that you should not wait for the sun to be up, because if you don't sow the uh, sunshine, if you don't wait when the sun is still up, they will not get good harvest. So as a department, we are working on quality grades, the parents, it's not parents of form fours. We are certain that when your daughters sit for exams in uh, December, we are going to have the last girl attending grade C plus. And the guys are given that assurance. Can you clap for the guys, the parents? <laughs> now, the quality assurance is made of different departments. I'm uh, a teacher of geography and CRE. Uh, the head of the department is a teacher of biology and chemistry. We have other members who are drawn from uh, the other departments. 
then they will believe that they're going to work hard enough with the girls to make sure that the last girl gets a grade of C plus or 46, the bare minimum. So the parents support us. We are going to do our best as a department. So the four four class, wherever you are, the 2022 class, our theme is 100% university transition. Now, the class of 2021, the transition is 70.63. And we pray that if this class will attain a target of C plus and above, the next class, 2023 class moving uh, forward, will be having near girls high school. All our girls must join campus with the for the examination. Otherwise, may God bless you, may God bless me. Thank you very much. Let me take back to our deputy, deputy principal academics. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the Kwasa office. I move to the next step. I want to tell you how we plan to achieve the mean of 9.02. Uh, our way forward that will take us to this target that we just launched. Um, we have been doing and will still do extra programs and these extra programs some of them are done during the weekends and others are done during the weekdays uh, we also have extra lessons uh, in near girls high school we start our lessons from 7 to 4 30 and there are a total of 12 lessons in a day uh, in the morning for we normally have um, morning remedials and uh, to help in syllabus coverage uh, we also have extra practicals for the form first on weekdays from Monday to Friday from 4.30 onwards. We have uh, a timetable for practicals for the three sciences. Uh, because of time, I will not mention which day we do with practical, but uh, they are there. On, Sunday, on Saturday, we have uh, extra classes for biology, theory, and history. And on Sunday, we have this one, English and chemistry. Um, for these girls, uh, we have planned that we are going to do joint examinations. And we are going to do a total of three joint examinations. The first one has already been done. It is called Bilk Marking Ups. We've done it with uh, 29 schools, and uh, the last paper was done today. We are going to mark the examination in Luak Girls, and uh, by Monday or Tuesday, we'll be having our results. When we will analyze them, we'll send to the parents, and we will give the girls report forms based on this particular examination. When we open, we will teach for two weeks, and revise the exam that we've done and sit for another paper, another joint with Asumbe, Maranda, and uh, Kisumu girls. So that one will be for national schools only. At the end of next term, we'll sit for another second real marking up exam. We have been taking teachers for workshops in preparation for the good results we are talking about so that the teachers are conversant with the current trends of setting and also interact with other teachers to share ideas on how we can do better. Uh, we have also planned that we're going to invite uh, academic and motivational speakers to talk to the students, not only from Falls but also the other girls. And... Uh, also, we are going to do early syllabus coverage. Some subjects have completed, others will complete next term. Uh, that is how we plan to achieve the mean of 9.0244. Uh, allow me to take you through KCSA results of uh, 2021. That is the exams that were done. I'll only give you the summary. Um, in the year 2021, that is the last KCSC results we had, uh, performed as follows. We did not have A plan. We had 6 A minus. We had 29 B plus. We had 42 B plan, 82 B minus, 96 C plus, 76 C plan, 23 C minus, 5 D plus, 
and to this we had 361 candidates. The mean score was 7.3657. Um, 7.367. Uh, Their target was 9.7, so they didn't achieve the target. It is our belief that uh, the Jaguars will surpass that particular target and perhaps reach a higher one than what they've already said. Um, at this juncture, allow me to move to the next step, and that is the awards. So the girls who got the A minuses, they were six. So we'll call the girls uh, who excelled. We have awards for them. The girls who got A minuses were the following. Um, number one, I'll start from number one. Number one is Elizabeth Aluach. Aluach. Number two, Ondra Lovi Reki Aluach. Number three, Velma Margaret Anyango. Number four, Wanda Sandra Atieno. Number five, Charlene Lucy Aruor. And number six, Maisiba Delphine Kwamboka. I'll request uh, the girls to come forward. All of them, or the representatives, some of them were not able to attend. The girls who did exams last year, where are you? Just come forward. Uh, line up facing the parents this way so that the parents can see you and the guests can also see you. I'll allow them to tell you their names so that you know who is who. Mimi Nastmamiya Elizabeth Aluwach Oluwach. I'm the guardian of the Elizabeth from Standard One up to where he was in near. Um, Shalin Lucia Award, number five. Margaret, number three. So I'm only seeing three. Uh, the rest didn't come. We'll see how the gifts can reach them. I want to invite uh, the chief principal, Nia Girls, to award uh, uh, the guardian of Elizabeth Alwatch Alwatch on behalf of Elizabeth. The guardian will receive the gift. Uh, the gift um, here are uh, smartphones worth 15,000 shillings each. Uh, Madame is opening so that we can see one of them to know what they are being given. Uh, Elizabeth was our top student with 76 points. She was a very humble girl. At the moment, as we speak, uh, she is employed by Equity, and they didn't give her a chance to come to this occasion. Clap for equity, please, and the madam for presenting the gift. We very much thank the guardian for coming and for bringing up the girl so well. She had no issues here. 
And uh, she wasn't even uh, number one throughout. There was one who was number one throughout. I don't know where Ondo is. She was number one throughout, but this girl took over the last minute and became number one in this examination. Thank you so much. For the next girl, allow me to invite uh, the PHA person, Dr. Ciprin Ojuogo, the CP, uh, sorry, the PHA person, Dr. Karibu, to give to the girl. You are uh, the girl is Sharon Lucy Awar, uh, there with the parent. We thank the parent for attending. <laughs> thank you so much, PA Chair. Uh, the next person is going to be gifted by the chairperson of alumni. The chairperson of alumni. Yes, Dr. Alice Kaud. Young year girls uh, just become doctors and professors. Have you heard that? The other one was Professor, <laughs> Professor Ross Nikar. This is Dr. Alice Kaudia. So this is also going to be a professor. Sasa. Yeah, we only produce professors and doctors and see them seated here. Clap as uh, Professor gets the lady. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This brings us to the end of awards. Uh, those who haven't come will see how their awards can reach them. Um, what I want to let you know is that the class we have now can do better. They are very calm. They are disciplined. The form fours of this year are disciplined and they are very calm. The Jaguars. Jaguars, uh, they've just left. They are very good girls. I think they've given me a very easy time, not like the other four fours I've always had to run after. So we believe that the girls can do well, and today they told us that uh, they are in of 9.0244. I believe that failure will never overcome us if our determination to succeed is very strong. The Jaguars are very strong. Uh, to all the parents, I just urge you to encourage the girls. We've given them the report forms. Some may have not done well, but please sit down with the girl. Don't let them fear coming home. Some were saying, my parents will kill me. Please don't kill your child because of examinations. You can talk to the child to improve. You can talk to the child to improve. I talked to my class from two southeast, and we've resolved that we are going to aim at B+, plus, and it can't be achieved overnight. It is step by step. So give the children a chance and encourage them to improve. Don't call them names because they've come home with poor results. Encourage them and they can do better than they have done now. I won't take much of your time, but uh, when you have time, please come have appointment through your class teacher and come and follow up on the academic performance of your teacher. You will be come and then discuss with the class teacher and the subject teachers of the girl at individual level. That one can help them more. 
Thank you so much. Round of applause for the deputy principals, uh, principal academic. I want to believe that uh, being that that is the core, core business, we've already gotten a glimpse, uh, a hint on what is going on in the school. So I want to welcome the deputy principal administration. But before that, we have uh, probably misplaced glasses here. So wherever, if they belong to you, please, you can come and collect it from us here. And then I'm just informed the YWCK, they are here. So for those who will be in, on issues of environmental, they have a stand there for the, our schools. Feel most welcome. I welcome the Deputy Principal uh, Administration. Karibu, Madam. Can we clap for her as she comes? Okay, to our chief guest in absentia, Dr. Nelson Sifuna, our chief principal, our chief principal, Mrs. Florent Oboni, our sequoia, who is now stepping in for our chief guest, Mrs. Milka Arucho, my friend. <laughs> then, uh, a PA, a chair person, Dr. Cyprian Oduogo. To the chair. To the chair of uh, alumni group, Dr. Alice Kaudia. The vice chair, Professor Ross Nikal. The KCB group. Branch manager. Mrs. Elizabeth Arende. The BAM uh, representatives present. The PAs present, invited guests present. The, if we have repre the representative from the Ministry of Education present, TSC representatives present, parents, teachers, support staff, and students. Good afternoon. I want to take a very short time because I know time is well spent. And I want to talk mostly to the parents. And my key issue is discipline. As you know, the office of the deputy principal is usually mandated with the issue of discipline. And as I usually say, success cannot come with a discipline. Therefore, we take discipline very, very seriously. I want to say that what is the role of the parents in the issue of discipline? The attitude of the parents affects the attitude of the attitude of the parents affects the attitude of the students. I want to illustrate this with an example. When my firstborn was doing his KCPE. I learned that he had written Lenana High School. He did his KCP in the year 2011. I was very sad because by that time, Lenana School was not a school where we wanted our children to go. They had issues. Those of us who are old enough like me, you know. So I was really sad. When the results came out, indeed he performed so well. And true to our fear, he was called to Lenana School. We tried the math that we could to change. Unfortunately, we never succeeded. So we said, now what do we do? So we sat down with the father and we said that to us, Lenana School is the best school in this country. And that is what we are going to preach to our son. He went to Lenana School. To cut the long story short, he did very well at Lenana School. He's a very disciplined boy and is called there frequently to go and mentor the other students. So why am I saying this? Parents, your attitude affects the attitude of your daughter. If you talk positively about Nia girls, your daughter will be positive about Nia. If you talk negatively about Nia girls, get prepared, your daughter is living here 
with a grace that does not belong to her. I thank God the alumni are here and they have performed so well. And therefore, let us encourage our daughters, let, them, let us tell them that Nia Girls is the best school possible. And then in addition to that, can we ensure that discipline must be observed both at home and in school? I'm not talking about teachers because I know the attitude of the teacher also affects the attitude of the students. But today, because it's parents you're here, we are talking mostly about your attitude. So I don't know how many of you love Nia so much, so that come next year when the other, if you have a daughter in class eight and another one is class six, you're going to encourage them to come to Nia. Can I see by a show of hands? Remember I've said the attitude of the parent affects the attitude of the students. So let us, let us believe, I'm not even saying let us pretend, let us say that near girls is the best school and that is where we want our girls to be. At times we have challenges on discipline and it becomes very, very sad when the parent comes and the parent is also very negative. I love the, girl, the girls who did a, a skit here and they reflected that. So let us always ensure that when we call you on issues discipline, please support us because we are doing this for the good of our students. I want to use another example. Last time I sent a student home on suspension because she had stolen socks. She had to go all the way to Nairobi. Even some students were saying, Madam, you're becoming petty. But the reason why I sent this student home is because I wanted to know the cause of the student misbehaving. I knew it was not socks. This is a student that I know so well, and I know her background. She cannot steal socks. But I realized that there was something that this student wanted to express. So I gave her suspension, and she went home. They came with the parents. And I want to say this, colleague teachers, I'm sorry, I'm not mentioning any name. So when we invited the class teacher for the disciplinary meeting, class teacher in Iruka, the girl was so good. I said, what? Today it's going to be difficult. But after uh, I told the parents that I sent the girl home, but I knew there's something behind it. Thank God. The parents actually told us, Madam, I've been waiting for this. This girl has been a problem back at home also. And I really thank that parent. And I believe we were able to assist that girl. And I know that girl is going to pass her exams. So there could be issues back at home. But don't wait until we send the student home. Come to us early enough, let us sit down and address these issues. And I also want to say this, all of us have our problems, but the difference is how do we manage the problems? I think if I have a problem with my husband, I don't want my children to know. We lock ourselves up in the bedroom and discuss it, even if it's a bit of throwing words here and there, but by the time we are out of that place, they are not aware that we had issues. The problem that I'm having with current parents is that you let your student, your daughters know the problems that are there. And that's what now becomes a problem. And I want to say without fear or favor that most of the indiscipline cases, finally when we dig back, we find that the problem is cropping from our homes. So let us be very supportive. Let us ensure that we are there for our children. And I want to say that the best you can do for your child is to give your child quality time. We are very busy as parents, very, very busy making money for our children. But are you leaving a legacy? Right now we are releasing them to go home. You saw for yourselves, they're talking about drugs. The other day, the drug day was celebrated. And it was clearly stated that the ones who are really involved are from ages 14 to 17. Those are the ones we have here in school. So please let us be a parent who is there, who is supportive, who is firm, who is loving. But the key thing is that discipline cannot be exchanged for anything. So I want to thank you so much for coming. I'm not going to take a very long time, but I want to say that let us all come together and support near girls so that at the end of it all we are able to achieve that means that we've been shown. Yes, it is possible. When we come together and stand in as a team, 
the POM, the PS, and the rest of the stock stakeholders, then we are going to achieve that. So with those very few remarks, I want to say thank you, and as you leave this place, may God bless you. May you have Danny Massey's back at home. Thank you very much. Can we give her another round of applause? Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, after the Deputy Principal Administration, I want to invite the alumni chairperson. Uh, these are the former students of this particular school who have also gone through this school. So, they are, are really uh, passionate, supportive, and dedicated. Makofi Kwa Udamini, their team. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. As has been said, we are the Nia Girls Alumni Association. Standing before you here is uh, Alice Kaudia. I am the chair lady. So uh, I don't fund the association alone. May I kindly request our officials to come so that they can introduce themselves? The management team, please. And as they come, I also want to tell you that of the many hats I wear, I am the trustee, one of the trustees of uh, Wildlife uh, WCK, Wildlife Clubs of Kenya, and I will introduce them more. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Rose Nikal, an alumnus of Nia Girls High School, um, an employee of the University of Nairobi. I was here in 1975 and 76, head girl 1976. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Monica Odera Obare, 1975. Uh, Monica is our organizing secretary, and she has been a very instrumental part in organizing how we have arrived here. Thank you, Monica. Hi, everyone. Marcelino here is my name, class of 91. I serve in the development sector and I'm happy to be part of this today. God is good and all the time. My name is Lucy Anyango Ojo. I'm a retired educationist. I was in Nia um, in 1977. I served as a prefect in Igret, House 5. Thank you very much. God bless. Good morning, parents. My name is Helen Apondi Sewe. Sewe is my husband's name. By then, I was called Helen Apondi Dada when I was in Nia High School those days. I was here in 1980. I was the prefect in Ibis House. And uh, now I'm working with the Ministry of Water, Sanitation, and Irrigation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have uh, one of our officials, very good in finance, Betty Osir. She is not able to come here with us, and we are requesting that a microphone be given to her. Huh? Okay, Betty, please. I have it. I have it. Um, my name is Beatrice Osir. I was in this school in 1978, that's when I left Form 4. And um, I am a retired officer, I was a pension, I, I, I was a manager in the pension scheme. Thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Betty. Uh, we are not just this few. May I request all alumni members who are in the alumni tent, please just stand up and wave so that uh, we proudly show off that Nia is not, Nia is the school. As you can see them here, we have uh, members from 1967. Ah, okay, thank you. Nia is the school, look at them, they are all here. And I think among parents, we'll also have uh, uh, old girls. Just uh, raise your hand or stand, we show off that Nia is the school. So may I request my management, you could sit down. Uh, I take this opportunity 
Let me now officially get started. Mr. Nelson Sifuna, the Director of Education, Sierra County, who is our chief guest. Uh, Madam Florence Omondi, the Chief Principal, Nia Girls High School. The Deputy Principal Academics, Madam Anne Igushia. And the Deputy Principal uh, Administration, Madam ben, uh, Mrs. Benta Joga. The Chairman of the Board of Management, parents and students who are here with us here. May I also recognize Mr. Emmanuel Situma, the Regional Conservation Education Officer of Wildlife Clubs of Kenya. As I stated, I'm one of the trustees of the Wildlife Clubs of Kenya. Good afternoon to you all. Let me just give a brief about our alumni. The alumni started in 2019 as a result of girls coming together to condole with the family of the late Mrs. Gladys Mukoya Ondera. But more recently, we also lost our one of the long-serving principals, Mrs. Eudora Oluwaj. May we observe a minute of silence as we reflect on those two major losses to Nia Girls High School. Just a minute. Now let me take you through very, very briefly about the alumni. This alumni was registered on 30th July 2020 under Societies Act Section 10. But our activities could not proceed very quickly because of the COVID-19 challenges. We really had wished to come here and work with the school leadership as we got the alumni to grow. But we had those constraints. Currently, the membership is about 400, and we are inviting all the parents who are former alumni, uh, Nia Girls uh, students, to join us at the alumni tent after 2 p.m. We'll be having a special meeting of the alumni. Nia Girls are proud girls because they are achievers. And we are, asked, I think the Deputy Principal Academy, Academics touched on that. We want the girls to excel. As she said, many of us here have excelled in different skill sets. Not only do we have professors, when you look at the Kenyan landscape of academic institutions, you will find Nia girls at the top. From the University of Nairobi, Karatina University, Lake uh, University, all these universities, the leadership management is under the control of Nia girls. Uh, who are here before. And we want the girls to continue in the same trend. We at Nia Girls, we are achievers. Please don't let us down. We have also been able as a alumni to have a very strong governance structure. I already showed off the management team, but we also have nine others in the steering committee. And we are very transparent to the extent that our steering committee includes the deputy principal. So everything we say they are able to also be with us. Our achievements not only include such transparent governance, but we also installed five hand wash stations, which were launched today by the Siaya County Education Director. That was our resp a rapid response to COVID challenge. Let me take this opportunity at this time to thank the leadership of the school and the parents and tell them that we are continuously committed to work with you to improve the performance of our school. May I therefore at this time invite my deputy, Professor Ross Nikal, to also give a few remarks. Professor Nikal, please. Chief guest, chief principal, all invited guests, teachers, students, ladies and gentlemen, I'm privileged to be here today. As I mentioned before, I left here in 1976, but I brought one of my siblings in 1988 and a last one in 1994. So I'm very happy to be here. My only message is to the girls, 
let us work together. We want you to achieve and be better than us. Many times there are many things that uh, prevent us from achieving and that is why we say, that is why I say, let's work together. Don't keep that element that is making you not achieve, don't keep it to yourself. I know there is a department of counseling and guidance and counseling. Guidance and counseling does not mean that if you go there, it does not mean that you have some mental problem. Sometimes there's just some little social problem that could be solved and you would have flying colors. My dear parents, let us not call our children names. Let us support them. Let us always be alert on what happens to them. Many times if you eat together with your children, you will tend to get what happens to them. If someone has a problem, you will tell. Even just one meal in a day, eating together. When we were students here, many times some girls would say they don't want to eat, but even those who didn't want to eat had to sit at table. And it was easy for the prefects to note something happening to any one of them while seated at table. It's not my day to preach. So thank you very much for listening and all the best. Our form force will pray for you, but work hard also. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. Uh, talking of sitting at the table, I used to be the school dining prefect, 1977-78, and those who misbehaved at the table, I took them to detention. They always remember me and they call me on toes because if you saw me, you have to be on your toes if you made a mistake. But nowadays we are very happy people. Uh, we also have our uh, financial controller, Madame Betty Osir. She's very special in a way. She's gifted, we say she's gifted differently. Betty, please. So I thank so much the, pe uh, the people who are around. And I wish to particularly talk to encourage, talk to encourage the persons who are um, uh, able differently. Those are the people I want to address and I would like to ask, among us here, is there anybody? Hello? Yeah, is there anybody who is not uh, affected by um, disability? Just carry your, up your hand. If you are not affected, if you are not a friend to a disabled person, carry up your hand. So all of you are a friend to a disabled person or related to a, a disabled person. So that means that I'm talking to the entire audience. Therefore, I'd like to address parents, students, the school, and the persons with disability themselves. In the school here, I wonder if we have any person who is able differently. Um, Madam Head, I hope you do. Yeah, thank you so much. Now to parents, I would like to tell you that this special child that you have is your brand. Please support that child. Please make sure you are alert to wherever they are. Please don't leave them. I'm Like now, I'm one example. I am training one child because the, the parents said that kupeleka uyu shule ni kuaribu pesa. Please, parents, your attitude would really affect such children. I am here because by virtue of my parents who saw the need to take me to school. Therefore, I would I urge all the parents, please follow up, especially my late dad's example, who would even carry me on his back to make sure that I attained up to a degree. So to parents, please take care of that. I know of parents who leave these disabled people into, at home, and remember, when you leave them home, you leave them to some bad-mannered people who would mess them up, and the moment they are messed up, that's it. Now to, briefly, I'm, I'm just on that. To students, kindly be lenient to such persons. When I was in this school, I was very, very 
blessed by my friends. They would always be on my side. That really gave me a lot of uh, motivation. So don't jeer at these people, don't laugh at them. They're already having so much to carry on in life. Kindly assist them where you can. Uh, be polite to them. Please avoid the stigma. Now to the school. I wonder if you could make some pragmatic uh, strategy just to support such people. For example, you could just go out of your way to ensure that you give one chance per stream to any disabled person. By that I mean, if it's from one to from four, in one, um, in one year at least the streams, if there are seven streams, you'll have, you'll have helped seven disabled person. I'm not saying you give them free. Just give them a chance and you'll see how wonderful they'll be. Because like the year we were here, we were only two. And I'm sure they are very, very, very minimal. So kindly, the school go out of your way. Maybe provide even a, a, a wheelchair. I wonder if even there's a wheelchair somewhere around here. Just go out of your way to assist such persons, even if they are um, people living with albinism, all sorts of disability. Um, to the persons uh, living with disability, wherever you are, I salute you and I want to encourage you to carry on. But life is not so easy out here. Life is very, very difficult. But it's upon you to see that you must, you want to work as hard as you are, as you can, to ensure that you maneuver the life's hard lives. Um, you will need to work three extra times where others are working once. Because you will need that extra money to support you to do what you are doing. For example, where somebody can easily jump onto and do the, you will need to hire a car. Or you will hire to, have to hire a, a tuk-tuk. The parents of such people will bear with me that that is the truth. You must always be positive. And um, it is known, some people normally feel that the, these special people normally are very rude. Kindly be courteous. If you are clean and courteous and disciplined and warm, you will always be inviting people to come and assist you. So this is personally to those people. Um, you must have your own self-value. Okay, you must have your own self-value and kindly, um, if, all, if you do all that, then the sky is the limit. You will always be excelling. The government is there already. The government has improved so many um, um, laws to make sure that the, the, the whole country assists persons with disability. So kindly work, do whatever you can to ensure that you get those chances which are available. With all few remarks, I wish to hand over to the next person. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Betty Osir. You have given us a very clear message. Disability is not in ability. And I can assure you as a member of the, as the chairman of the alumni that Betty is very special. She really keeps our financial records straight, all the bankings, very clear record keeping. We thank you for that. We don't lose money. Uh, having said that, I think our final speaker will be Monica Obare, who is our uh, launch team leader and organizing secretary. We have two, uh, uh, and uh, today is very, very special for us, and we thank the principal for giving us this space, because we'll also be launching the alumni. The big cake, 20 kilogram, is here. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon once again. Uh, we started uh, this journey in the year 2019 when we lost one of our teachers who had been in Nguyen Girls High School here. Uh, I must uh, thank the school management. I've uh, been here to and fro checking on this and whenever we have something to do they will always do it. The alumni girls, you've been very supportive. When we want two shillings, you bring it. When we want one million, you bring it. 
when you make noise a little, we tell you this is the path. So with our able chair lady, we are very grateful that we have come this far. Uh, and with this day, has worked because of the alumni girls. Thank you so much. I'm a retired teacher. Thank you, Mwalimu. You see, we have professors, teachers, and everybody else. Now, we come to a different segment of our celebration. We want to celebrate the girls who got the A's and those who are most improved. We were strongly guided by the management and met ask our team members to come forward with the gifts so that we can give the girls. Uh, we have different types of gifts. We have a flask which is branded, we have mugs which are branded, we have cash vouchers. We have books, very many books. So the girls will get, uh, this is a flask. We would want that uh, they, they keep drinking water very well. Uh, this will be given to them. We also have a mug. Uh, the mug looks like this. So this is also going to be the gift to the girls. And then as I said, we have... Could the girls come forward? Yes. As I said, we also have very many books which we have brought to the library. Uh, this is uh, the Kenya Atlas of our wetlands. My background is I was uh, previously the Environment Secretary for Kenya for 10 years. And therefore, conservation and environment management is a passion that I, I have. And we will do great things in Nia through environmental conservation. Could we kindly request the girls? The A team, just come forward. We can move the uh, Ladies, we are very proud of you. About uh, 50 years ago also, we stood somewhere getting this award. <laughs> it's not easy, but this is the beginning. And what will keep you there where you're going is your character. A certificate is a paper. So when you go there, carry yourself in a morally upright life. The university can be very challenging, especially you have been caged here for four years, so you think you are going for freedom. You are not. So we want you, we will follow you there. The ones we mentor, the girls we mentor here, we follow them. We want you to be a good example. During our time, Maseno boys, Alliance boys, they were all wanted to come to Mia to get a lady for a wife. <laughs> so we are very, we, are, we have set the records we want you to follow. Even uh, outside academics, you are supposed to be very good children. Uh, we are going to give uh, the girls, these are our girls who got A grade. Uh, we want you now to get A plus when you go up there. <laughs> Elizabeth Aluoch, Aluoch, are you there? Uh, we have given them vouchers. They will open his cash voucher. We've given them a flask and a mug. Ah, a flask. Audrey, a one. Otiana Olivia. Mas, my Siva. How can you? Shani. 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 We want you to be good girls. That's the governor, Humabe. <laughs> hey.
That's very good. Very much. Very much, yeah. Lobby. Is she Lobby or Lavi? The principal, could you please? You are honored to be given by the, you are very great mom here. Lovi, I take a flask there. Most, wait, where is most? No, 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 there, no. That one is not there. We also had students, for four years they had been working very slowly and the, we, we, the management knew that these students could do better and they also came out in the year 2021 exam results, they did very well. They really got very good grades. Olivia Achieng, most improved student. Audrey Awon, most improved student. Uh, principal, did you tell them? You know, maybe they didn't know they were really improved. <laughs> okay. Hey, here, here. Uh -huh. Mugs. Mugs. Up, up. Most improved. Most uh, uh. This one is for the other one. Academics, can we take a photo with you? We'll say these are our girls, they are very bright. <laughs> of you we are proud of your principal we are proud of the school that we were here 50 years ago <laughs> yeah we were here 72 <laughs> we are doing very well we are going to the next segment. As I said, we have uh, also brought some books to, uh, for the girls to read. These are mainly environmental books for conservation, and we re kindly request Deputy Principal Academics to come and receive this on behalf of the school. It's a big carton, but we'll only show you a few of them. with us here a master plan for conservation of water catchment areas you know how water catchment areas have been degraded and we want to conserve them we also have the Kenya Atlas of our changing and uh, of, of, of our wetlands because we want to conserve them and then we have the Kenya Atlas of our changing environment we want to ensure that our environment is conserved and we know why and Land is inelastic, we don't have much land, so we must protect what, everything that we have. The forests, the dry lands, and everything. Thank you so much. Now we come to the peak of our activity, which is the launch of the alumni. Uh, as I said, we only started in 2019, but now 2022, we are launching ourselves. We thank the management for uh, allowing us to do so during this special occasion.
Could we request as many of the alumni members to come and join us? We would have wished we could sing. We have vocalists, but they were not able to come. We will symbolically cut the cake. The principal, please. The chief principal, the academic deputies. Is there a chair, board of uh, governors who have joined us? Chair B, yeah. B, yeah, please. Mr. Sifuna, Mr. Emmanuel. We just want to make very special recognition to the Ministry of Education. We have the representative of the Director of Education, CIA County. Madam is here with us. Thank you so much. Now you can do the kata kata. Kata kata Oh. 
Kata Maratini, Kata Naulisha. The students who come back to the country, they share, 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 Hello, parents. Amari our wazi. Mungu asifiwe. Mungu asifiwe walimu. Yeah, my name is Abel Dunde. 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 Ni agastai. Tapwa yomu ni anjire enwe chumar siyasa. Sani okne enwe chego tapwa yo. This special chance. Mwono miya akwa u omoro. Akwa yo kwa mwano me doktay akounti. System school. Emu go lo doktor mbata. Sani anjire. Wanyaka ginyako no ponti ni mwono ni ema. Ni yadek. Mwotu mkaka ekwa mwano me doktay. Kona kwa jongo maesi ya kaunti, niko chopo chinta, niko chinko, unena, a box. Ana mario, alama mara ya mkufu mungu, anye boa zimio, ere mkamara. Ah, I'm a yeah, yeah, 
Thank you. Thank you. May the students come with the plates to distribute to the parents. So as parents, as you eat the cake of the new alumni, we can continue with other program. Otherwise, thank you for the patience, and we love you, the uh, new alumni. Michael. Thank you very much uh, for that. The gift, the, the guest here. Uh, this time we are now to welcome the PA chair that is now the parent representative. Uh, it is the juncture that she's going now to give us the uh, address. Karibu Sana, our chair, as she's coming, can we all clap for her please? Madam Chair, for the PA, it is our time or it's your time to come and talk to the parents. Uh, we are reminded that we are also uh, online for those who are at home, they can also follow the proceedings here. girls today, the chief principal of the school, the staff, and the parents. I greet you in the name of our Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, parents. Can you Everybody, my name is Cyprien Atieno Oduogo. I'm the current PA chair near girls. By profession, I'm a lecturer at Maseno University, and I'm very honored to have been chosen by the parents to represent them in this school as the chairperson. Thank you very much. As I come today, I want to say thank you so much to the support that we have received as a school, particularly from the parents and from the Ministry of Education. I would like to talk to the three categories of people whose arms together make up the school. We must recognize the presence of our students. We are recognizing the presence of our teachers. And I must recognize the presence of our parents. One thing that I want to mention is that together we can. When the students play their role, the parents play their role, and the teachers stand in the gap and play their role. The sky is the limit that we can reach. I want to start by talking to the, to the students. I'm disappointed that I'm not seeing where they are sitting. The students, are you here? Are you here? 
if they are not here, I would like them to listen where they are. As a parent, I would like you to take home whatever I'm going to say here so that you can share it with your child. The UPT Principal Academics mentioned on the discipline. No one succeeds on this mother art without discipline, and we all know that. Whenever I'm called to sit on the disciplinary committee at near girls, I get very disappointed. And one of the areas of his indiscipline in this school, which I would like parents to take back and talk to their parents about, uh, their children about, is this thing that in my face is the money called lesbianism. I want to call this thing by its name because it is taking control of our school and it is not acceptable. So as parents, I would like to tell you, a child that is disciplined would know that even if you are to call lesbianism sex, sex before marriage is a no-go zone. True or false? And so we are telling our guys that when they are in this school, they are here for only one purpose, to study and to pass their exams. There is no way somebody can study hard when a fellow girl is busy telling you, I love you, I love you, what kind of demonic statement is this? Parents, are you going to support me on this one? Yes. There is nothing like loving a fellow girl. I want a grandchild. We want grandchildren. I don't know if there's a parent in this school who is not looking forward to becoming a, a grandparent. Are you? So when you go back, talk to our girls and tell them lesbianism is actually satanic, but most importantly, sex is not allowed in the school environment. And the next time I sit in that disciplinary, to, to tell you the truth, I will expel somebody. Clap for me. The second thing that I want to tell to our girls, the day that you were appointed to join Nia Girls, you became somebody that I call a very, very, very important person. VIIP. And when you are in the category of v VIP, there are things that you cannot be associated with. For example, dating useless failed men. You are not allowed to date them. You are supposed to study and get to the university because all these useless men that you are getting here are just the rumors of men. The real men are found at the university. And so we want you to go to the university and find the real men. and 
exams, true or false? Most importantly, I want to tell you that there are categories of schools and the year girls is a national school. We want to encourage our girls. How many of you parents know a kid who is learning at Alliance High School? Any parents? Anybody who knows somebody who goes to Kenya High School? Do we know anybody who go to Asumbi Girls? Do we know someone who is going to the top, top 10 schools in Kenya? Do we know them? This is the secret. When your child goes home, go and borrow the notes of a girl from Alliance, of a girl from Kenya High, of a girl from Maseno School. Of, borrow these notes. Share them and see what is it that they are taught there, what is it that we are teaching here. And when you form a teamwork of when you come back and share what you picked from Maseno, what was picked from Miranda, and what was picked from Alliance, and you revise them, the sky is the limit. I want to tell you parents, a child cannot perform without your support. Never. Even if you are an illiterate parent, make time to support this child. I want to tell you a story of a life almost lost. When I did class seven, in those years, I got 36 points out of 36 to go to Uganda Girls. And I had a stepbrother who was a very close friend of mine. He got 19 points. And my father decided that my brother go and repeat. Because those days you could only go to a government school for boys, it was around 27 points. And somebody somewhere mobilized the village and came and said that my father wanted to take a girl to school and to leave a boy. And when they came and they started their discussion, they said that I leave the room. When I left the room, curiosity killed the cat. I went and hid behind the, the house. And I heard all the things they were telling my father. But when my father was done talking to them, trying to tell them I'm not discriminating, I want the boy to repeat so that he can go to a government school. When he was done, because these people were putting pressure that there was no way I was going to school. My father was a tall, tall man. He took a mokwajo and started chasing these old things out of his home. And the next day he took me to Rongo to go and do shopping for Form 1. And let me tell you, because of the action that my father undertook, I promised to achieve the highest level of academic that I could get. Now clap for my father. And I want to tell you, most parents leave their children to their mothers. Most of us leave our children to our mothers. Well, mothers we try. But when you are supported by the voice of the father, this child is likely to go very, very far. And so I am I'm, I'm telling the fathers that are here, be the first lover of your daughter. Go through her academics. Support her. Tell her, Mommy, the best and the most handsome man is the one you are seeing in front of you here. And I'm going to support you to the end of the world. I want us to clap for the fathers who are here. I want us to clap for the fathers who are here. The reason why they came is because they love their daughters. True or false? I salute you. And those ones who are at home, I encourage you to next time come and listen to us. Drugs is a 
a big problem. That is why our daughters were acting this thing here. Please, when you go home, check what is it that your child is doing now that schools are closed. Somebody taught me if you are blessed with a big house and your children have their bedrooms, make sure that a few of your clothes are in those rooms. Did I say that? So when you are going to pick on your dress that is in that room, you can also try to check what is it that is in this room. Because some of us don't go to their rooms. We are keeping children who are doing drugs in our own houses in front of us. Parents today have been told that I may be short. But next time, I will make sure that I am long. Today, most of my time was taken because of the special daughters of Nia Girls, the alumni. We thank you for coming. Actually, my first meeting, when I was chosen to be the chair, I was told to strengthen the alumni. Now, these are the areas where I need your support, parents and the alumni. Number one, we can tell the teachers to work hard and to give us A grades. And I can tell the teachers today that teachers be lenient to our children. Be careful what you tell them. Be careful what language you use with them. Once upon a time at Aga Khan Primary School, a teacher told my daughter that she will go to Gorogoro Secondary School. <laughs> Where is this Gorogoro Secondary School? Did the teacher go to that Gorogoro Secondary School so he knows where to go, where, to, where my daughter can go? And when I told this teacher, please mind your language, my daughter went to Kenya High School and has just completed civil engineering University of Nairobi. When we Malimu, Igorogoro, secondary school, you go up. Number two, stop grading our children in this way. Poor, very poor. Poor, very poor. Poor, very poor. But you also say, best improved, did, uh, 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 can, can be improved. This child today improved in theory, this is very good. Why this poor, very poor parents? We are telling teachers to stop telling our children poor, very poor. They need to encourage our parents, our children whenever they improve. But as I was talking to them, the teachers told me, Malibu, you know we do a lot of work. And if only we could get something small called a reward. If only we could be appreciated. A little appreciation here and there. So what parents, can we have one meeting? There's a lot of talking in this place. So that when we are teaching, we also feel happy that we are being appreciated by the parents. The teachers, once you are sitting in the front, hello? We tell these teachers, what the teachers are telling us, that would also be very good if we were appreciated by the parents. Saying thank you when a teacher has done the work for a whole time is very important. And so today, I want to ask my parents, you put me here so that I could represent your voice. We would like to start a reward system and appreciation system for our teachers. Please let us clap for them. 
And I want to call, I want to call Madam, excuse me. I want to call one Madam to come and explain to us what this appreciation of the teachers would take. Yes, good afternoon, parents. Just wait for me to show that you are active and participating. Yeah, to the guests that we are here, just wait. Thank you so much, the Chair. Last week, but one, we came to school. No? We've been hearing a lot of complaints from the parents. Oh, watoto wanakula vibaya. Oh, watoto wanalala vibaya. So we made a surprise visit. The team that are here, just wait, the ones who came to school, and uh, thank you so much, uh, Chief Principal. To Litembea Kwai Shule, all the sectors of Niagas, just to ensure that what parents talk about is the relationship to what is happening in school. We visited the hospitality team. We were able to go to the dorms. We were able to go to the dining. And we realized that uh, as parents, we need to come back to you. And even we had representatives from the teachers, we were able to find out what they were going through. Family, it is important to know a man eaten where I work it. The hospitality team, we realized they lack motivation. And if you see how they are working into those home, the, 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 the dormitory, the kitchen, these people need to be appreciated once in a while. We came to realize that the teachers, most of them, they don't have enough facilities in the school compound, and they commute. Imagine a teacher leaving his or her house at 4 a.m. to trek to school to come and support remedial. So what did we did do as the executive team when we were here? We say, we say that the economy is very tough, yes, and the parents also are overburdened, yes. So what can we do to ensure we get, once in a while, the teachers can even visit Mombasa. The hospitality team can be appreciated. And even the students, we realize majority, as much as they struggle in class, they are not being motivated. So this is the proposal that we made, and I'm requesting the parents just to listen. We realize that each and every parent, if you give us 2,000, but how do you reach to that 2,000? Just a minute, just relax, just relax, relax. Just relax, I'll let you understand. Just relax. Just wait, relax, kindly relax. So what we said, that we are going to divide this 2,000. You not pay 2,000 because it's a one-year thing. We are going on a monthly basis. Just relax, parents, relax. Just relax. It's okay to refuse. It's okay to refuse, but it is not okay not to listen. So we agreed that per month we can give and 767 instead of the whole amount because it's a bit but for the whole year so we propose that we can give out 167 for the whole year, for every month and it will translate to 2000 we are humbly requesting that you process it and even because you see this thing is going to help the school the children and even the hospitality team thank you so much for listening as you process Hello? Parents, hi! Parents, hello? It is okay. Let us, let us proceed with our program. Let us proceed with our program. Dear parents, I would like to ask you, how many of us managed to visit our kitchen area? How many? Was it a, a, was it a very pleasurable place to, to be at, our kitchen? Did you see where our daughters are eating? Did we see where our daughters are eating? Did we see the condition of our kitchen? Let me tell you, results don't come from the air. It comes from teamwork. It comes from the stability of the soul. It comes from the stability of a person. Let me 
tell you what happens at here, girls. We have a student population of 2,600. And we have a dining hall that can only contain about 200 at most. That means that students take more time lining up. Please, even if you don't want to hear, keep quiet so that we can communicate. The, lo the, the, the long time that the students are taking, waiting for times to go and eat, affects the hours of teaching. Because it means if we start feeding the students at 12, we are likely to complete at 2 o'clock. And so I am trying to tell you this. We need to build a dining and a kitchen at near girls. Not this year. Not this year. There is a parent who is very loud here. There are others who also have mouths on this side. Please give them time. So what we are trying to say is that we are planning, I'm not saying that I need money now, we are planning to build a kitchen and a dining. This is not a project of the parents alone. It is a project of the parents and the Ministry of Education. And I would also like to request that our alumni can also take a percentage, however little it is, so that we can build a kitchen at near girls in the year 2003. As you go back to your homes, dear parents, take very seriously the few comments that we have made here. Whether we are talking about discipline, and whether we are requesting for your support so that Mia Girls can become the national school that it really is. Before I can say bye, I would like the PA members, the PAs, the near PAs, please can you stand so that you can say hi to the parents, can you stand up? These are people that you chose in order to represent each class at near girls. If you can quickly just step forward for one minute, these are the representatives that you talk to every time there is an issue. And as they do introduction, I want to complete by saying that may God bless you as you travel back and may God bless Kenya. Please just your name and nothing else. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Hospital Omiti. I represent from two South East. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Reverend Dan Rangile. I represent uh, from 3C. Be blessed. All protocol observed. Good afternoon, parents. My name is Bernard Olunga, and I represent from two northeast Karibuni. Good afternoon, parents. Uh, my name is Patrick Nyanganga. I represent from two east. Good afternoon, parents. My name is Ajiakona Yogutu. I represent from three north. Hi everyone, Obare Carol is my name. I present from Two South. Uh, good afternoon, parents. God is good, and all the times. I'm um, Elder Dano Junior. I represent from Two North. Good afternoon, Kionge Bernard from Four Central. Good afternoon, Hallelujah. I'm Mira Makali for South. Thank you. Peter Kinadele from Mono East. God is good. And all the time, Naske Munto from One South East. I am Joy Lokon. I represent from Three East. God bless you. Ifas Odwer from One Northwest. Thank you. Praise God. 
My name is George Orinda. I represent from two southwest. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Albert Tieno for four east. Good afternoon, parents. My name is John Inosokelo from one central. Gola Nyango from one north. Good afternoon. My name is Freddy Koyugi from two northwest. With brother Diambo from three southwest. Ochin Angawa from one south. I am Dr. Mugambi Moinani. I am in from one east. Odori Juma Philip from two north northeast. Omondi Gordon is my name. I represent from three west. And kindly, my parents, five minutes after we finish, to discuss just a one issue. Thank you. Namini Hapa, John Samuel Otieno, I represent the parents of from four northeast. From four northeast. So from four northeast, it's uh, parents, Tukutane Bada Mkutano. Thank you very much, uh, the PS and the classes that you are representing, those who are representing from four in particular, we encourage you to visit regularly until our students do their exams as you encourage them. May God bless you and may God bless all of you as you travel back to your homes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I'm guided here. Uh, I think the play is uh, hard. First and uh, foremost, there is this vehicle that is blocking the entry. KDE 145X. The owner of the vehicle KDE 145X, please, you parked in a place where you've obstructed other people. So please go and remove the car and park it appropriately. Now, uh, I may to understand probably there will be that uh, we'll give you time for the reactions. But now, for now, I'm humbly. Uh, guided that we need to make the program run and then uh, uh, it would be uh, uh, guided from there. So uh, at this juncture, I want to request we have the BOM chairperson who will come in probably to uh, give uh, the address. So. The BOM, this is the time for the Board of Management. Good afternoon, my name is Millicent Okwach. I sit in the Board of Management. As a, as a member, I, I represent the community and I sit in the academic committee. Thank you. I just wanted to share with us that quality is always expensive. That is my take-home message. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Odiambo Rosalyn. I'm a BOM member and I sit in the audit and evaluation committee. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Florence Omondi. I'm the secretary of the BOM. And I'm Cipri Noduogo. I sit in BOM as representative of the parents. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Good 
enough to know parents. I'm Mr. Matoke Edward, representing the PM chairman, who is away and engaged somewhere. I also wish to extend the apology of the vice chairman, Madam Nandi, who is also engaged somewhere. Almost before I talk, I wish to appreciate the work of our alumni, of which they have done to this school. I was so grateful today on what they have done, and may the Lord bless you. When you have an, an alumni in a school, it presents the huge issue of the school, and it gives guidance, and also it acts on a uh, motivation to students who are in school. Number two, I wish to appreciate the parents who usually pay school fees in time and ask those who, are, who usually delay to upgrade and also update, uh, 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 work on how to pay the school fees in time so that the school program can uh, work smoothly. Number two, uh, so to find out. Tafadali, we want to make these announcements. Uh, the students that have been uh, requested to come all this uh, this end, so that we can give the parents also the chance to listen and get what uh, is being said here. So, on behalf of the parents, we are making a humble request that uh, can we all uh, be this side so that we are able to get to know or listen, follow what is uh, being said here. And I want to request uh, Malimu. Uh, maybe to give the address to the students before the uh, chair, or the, sorry, the BOM uh, continue. Asante mwenzangu, wanafunzi mnaombu atafadhali muje upandu wa chini. Kwa ishima tu. Tunambiwa wanafunzi muende mpate chamcha, muende for lunch, kabaru tunaendelea kidogo. Tafadhali wanafunzi wote tupande juu tupate chamcha. Asante. Tatu. Nasikia kama hiyo mbaya. Dear friends, I was saying was saying I'm happy for those parents who usually pay school fees in time, and we urge those who usually delay to at least do better than that so that the school program can, can run smoothly. In the year 2021, we, the board built one dorm with a capacity of 500 uh, pupils, uh, students, but as things stand now, the, the dorm is overcrowded and we intend to build a new dorm in this year as we move forward. In 2023, we plan to put a kitchen and a dining hall because we want to upgrade our kitchen from where it is. And this, uh, in, at this juncture, we request the parents to be paying 5,000 per child so that it can make, enable that work to progress. And also, I wish to remind the parents to remember the PM teachers we, 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 we requested that uh, we pay 5,000 per year so that those teachers can be paid salaries. The ongoing project right now, we have a gas project system that has been launched today because we want to move away from uh, the firewood and the, the gas is considered to be in, in environmentally friendly. At this juncture, I wish to thank HCB, Madam Elizabeth Arende, for your good gesture, for you to accepting to give us 30% on uh, whatever will be taken from you. And I, 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 I wish to inform the parents that uh, from what we have been given by KCB, we are supposed to, give, to be paying 515 per term to the KCB bank for two years. Lastly, I wish to appreciate KCB, Madam Elizabeth Arenda and your team, for the good, the good gesture that you have shown today, we also request you to continue with the same in the, in the new future. Madam Professor of Arumini, it is today that I have known Nia as also professors. Thank you so much. Thank you for your team. 
We have also some aluminals who work in the bank, like Elizabeth Berry Oimbo and uh, Madam Rose Onyango, they are retired. They send their greetings. Thank you so much and they may, may the Lord bless you. Asante. Thank you. Thank you very much, the board representative. And now, at this juncture, we now have our chief uh, principal, and uh, she's now going to talk to us. So, uh, parents, let's be very patient and attentive. Thank you. Now, before I speak, all students, can you please move to the uh, dining hall for your lunch very fast? Can you leave the parents and move to the dining hall? When we are through, when you are through in the dining hall, you wait those sides until we call you to leave with your parents. Can you all move very fast? Those students who are inside there with their parents, move to their dining hall right away. You are delaying us. Now, uh, before I start, I want to request all of us to stand up. We want to have one minute silence for our first African principal who we buried last week, but one, Mrs. Oluoch Bodo, can we all stand up? In our school, we have also, we are also bereaved one of our staff, Madam Gumaya, also lost the husband, and we are burying tomorrow. So we'll stand for one minute silence as we remember the true departed souls and many others. Actually, we have also lost many parents since the year began. So that silence will also include them. Let us observe one minute silence. Those who are walking, please, we want to observe one minute silence. Father Lord, we want to thank you for the life of those that you have called home, the lives of those who belong to this community, including the first African principal, Mrs. Oluoch Bodo, Mr. Francis, who is the late husband of our Madame, Madame Gumaya Yvonne plus all those parents that you have called home since the beginning of this year. Jehovah Lord, we want to thank you for having them amidst our, amongst our midst, and we pray that you put their soul in everlasting peace as you console the families that are left behind. Console us also as a school, give us your peace. Jehovah Lord, we also want to thank you for today, for the journey masses that you brought the parents here, for even giving the parents the grace to choose this school to bring their children. Jehovah Lord, I also want to pray that you give me the humility, the wisdom to have the authority in this school because I'm representing you in my management of these parents, so my father. I want to pray for all the parents of this school, Lord, and their families as we pray for them every morning. May you cover all of us with your grace, with your peace, and with your mercy. May you look upon our families, our income, our challenges. May you cover all of us with the glorious blood of your son, Jesus Christ. I pray this as we sit to listen to you. Be among us. Join us in our thoughts, in our minds, so that we may know you as our Father, and we come to you for everything that we want to do in this school. Jehovah, we always put you ahead in everything we do in this school, because you are the overall. We thank you, we bless you, in Jesus' name I pray. Now, to all our parents, I'll just start by saying I'm the principal. 
majority of you have not met me, especially those who are in Form 4 and Form 3. You came the time that I was unwell, I was not in school for some times. I want to take this chance to welcome all of you to Mia Girls. And to welcome the visitors that we've had. We had a very tight program today, and I want to say we have moved on very well. Our guest of honor, the director, was here by exactly 8.30. We were able to launch and commission three projects. Our dormitory that we built from 2019 to 2021, the dormitory was slotted to host 300 capacity, but it was expanded to host 500 capacity. But right now it is hosting 580 capacity, meaning that it is already very congested. So I want to thank God it was launched today. It was commissioned by the director this morning. The second commissioning was the commissioning of the cooking gas system. The school, together with the ministry, partnering with the Kenya Commercial Bank, financed the project at 30%. And they are insisting that we have to change to conserve the environment and move from the firewood to the gas system, all the boarding schools in this country. They are starting with the national schools. Our project was commissioned two weeks ago, and those parents who are here were able to see already we are cooking with the gas. It was commissioned this morning. And for that reason, I'd want to just call the KCB manager and give her just one minute to greet us. One, one minute or less. Good afternoon. All protocols observed. My name is Arenda Elizabeth, the manager of KCB Sierra. KCB, Kenya Commercial Bank, Kenya, through KCB Foundation, is supporting all schools nationally through the various KCB branches to install LPG gas. Uh, so that it helps us conserve the environment, just as the principal has said. KCB has accepted to finance for national schools 30% and for the other schools 20% so that these projects are completed. Today, uh, I want to announce that we launched a project here in Nia Girls, and this is the first one we have done in Siaya county. So uh, I am uh, delighted and we are very happy that the school, the parents, the principal and uh, the other members were ready to work with us for this to be launched. Thank you very much and have a blessed afternoon. Sorry, sorry, there's something I've not... KCB also has partnered with schools so that uh, we give cards to students and these cards are used to keep the pocket money so that parents send the pocket money which goes to the cards directly and the bank partners with the school and gives them a machine called a PDQ machine. So when the parent, the students want to withdraw their pocket money, they simply go to the administration, swipe, and they are given their money. So my request to the parent is, please support us so that we are able to manage or help your children manage their pocket money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I just want to talk about I want to appreciate the alumni. They didn't mention that in 2020, when we were in the height of COVID, they donated five hand washing machines and they are placed all over the compound. That was their first project in the school. They also pay school fees for the less fortunate. 
Today they have also come with cups and uh, flask for those who want to buy. The proceed of that goes directly in supporting the students who are not able to raise school fees. So I want to thank the alumni for working with the school and I want to appreciate their coming today and the fact that they are always at our back, encouraging us, pushing us to do even better. We realize that as a national school, still our performance have not reached where we wanted to reach. Last year we thought our candidates were having a target mean of 9.5. That was our best class from Form 1, and that was the class that admission was done by the deputy academics. And she insisted that that class has the last girl with 350 marks. We wanted to test whether that one would add any value. They were very good until second term when the discipline was going around the country and they flatly refused to do a mock that was set with 29 schools telling us that since their friends in the neighboring school were at home, they didn't see the point of also doing that exam. We had a dialogue for three days, they flatly refused and instead they told us give us one hour revision. It costed them. That was the class we knew would have a breakthrough. So for the phone calls this year, we want them to have that breakthrough and we need the parent support. Just like the PTA said, we are three people who should support the success of our students. We have the teachers, we have the parents, we have the students. If we don't come together to support these programs, our students will not perform. Our teachers are also human beings, and we insist, because of the tight calendar, our classes begin at 4.30 in the morning. I don't want to know whether you are living in Siaya, whether you are living in Kisumu, you should have to be here for your lesson. And they ask me, Madam, we are not asking for anything, we are only asking for transport it becomes a problem. Yet, I want them to be here to push these girls. So parents, even as you go home, think about it. These are people who sacrifice out of their time to ensure your children are taken care of. So before we talk about each other issues, let us think about it. Let us work together as a team so that we make these girls get the grades they deserve. Now, on the issue of school fees, Amona is very clear on the issue of school fees. School fee is a personal issue of the parent. Don't let or don't think that the PA rep should be discussing your issues of school fee. If you have a difficulty in paying your fee on time, we always encourage parents to come to school and talk with the administration. Give us your payment plan because we have the parents with very huge fee balances and it is very difficult to send students home. The next morning when I announce the phone calls we leave, all the teachers are up in arms. Madam, I have an exam. Madam, I have this. We are having a joint. We are having this. The girls must be in school. So I end up not sending away these students. Yet the parents are taking advantage of that. They don't pay the school fees. Please, those who are not paying their school fees, I was telling the teachers, next time on arrival, the next day they will just go back before they start the joint and the whatever and the whatever. But it is not fair for us to put our girls on the road. It is not their responsibility to come for the fee. It is the responsibility of the parents to pay fee on time. And if you don't pay that fee, our programs also cannot move. Now, in 2021, before I go to that, I want to mention that AGMs, we've not had our AGM since 2019. One of the results was, of course, the COVID. 
And I want to mention to the parents that our number has grown very fast. Currently, our population is 2,066. And when we were sending you messages, we were trying to be very clear that we only want two per child. Because we were calculating that two per child would give us 4,000 parents, plus 2,000 students is 6,000. So we only budgeted for that, but I could see there are still those who want to come 5, 10, which is okay. I would only want to appeal to our parents that it is normally the norm that if we are having the AGM, we have to support for that day to be successful. We have always gone the class meetings. We want to have the classes meet with the subject teachers. It is easier when we meet per class because of the number. But when we want to have our AGM once in a while, then it will be at the expense of the parents. It is a very, very expensive exercise. This time I was only able to slaughter three cows and we are saying, please make sure you have your lunch before you leave. Last year in 2021, I mean the other year, we, we had a meeting with various classes and we had suggested that the parents were to pay 7,000 for the BOM teachers and for the appreciation of students and staff. Now, it was a very long struggle. Most of the parents were able to pay. Some had not paid even up to now. Some decided to run to the ministry. And when they went there, they said the school is charging extra levy of 10,000. So I was summoned to the ministry to explain why I'm charging 10,000. And I was requesting for approval of 7,000. Of course, I had to explain that those who had not paid it in the other term, it was coming to 10,000. So they advised me that we cannot approve money towards the payment of awards either to the teachers and to the staff. But we can approve for you money for project development. So if your parents already had approved 7,000, can you give us a project of the board that the parents can pay for? And since already they are talking of the 10,000, I went back to the board and discussed it with the PA and the boards, and we agreed that the 5,000 remain for the payment of the BOM. And since our immediate need for 2022 was another dormitory, we decided to have the 5,000 going towards the dormitory and the 5,000 going towards the payment of the BOM. And since this was approved by the ministry, before the new term began, I think it was in March, I decided to just place it in the newsletter because I knew we were going to meet so that I inform the parents. So the 10,000 that was placed on your newsletter, of course, only the form ones who had requests have paid it and the rest were to pay it after this meeting. The 5,000 is supposed to go towards the dormitory construction, and the 5,000 is supposed to go towards the employment of the salary of the BOM teachers who are currently at 35, sorry, 36, and I'm being, still being told they should be 45. Our teachers, TSC teachers, we have 42, and BOM teachers, we have 35. Our CEB is supposed to be 104 teachers. And we cannot only have the TSC teachers because they will not be able to manage that workload. So the parents were requested in 2021 to assist in paying the BOM teachers. So 
This year, we are paying the approved 10,000, which 5,000 is going towards the BOM teachers and 5,000 is going towards the dormitory. So when you see the fee structure we gave you, we had captured 6,000 out of the 10,000 in term one, which means if you paid, the six, you paid your full fee for term one, you will have paid 6,000 of the 10,000, which means you are paid 5,000 for the dormitory and 1,000 towards the BOM teachers. Then the other 4,000 is to be paid in second term for the BOM teachers. Unfortunately, because it had not been explained, very, very few parents have paid those who have finished the term one fee. Now, for 2023 projects, for 2023 projects, the Board of Management was requesting the parents to approve the construction of the kitchen and the dining hall. In the morning when we are commissioning the cooking system, a few parents came to the dining hall and the, the PA representatives, I took them there to see. Our children are eating outside. Near girls, we have a lot of rains, we have a microclimate. And you should see during lunchtime and supper time, the girls are being rained on. We just made a shed where they're supposed to stand there. They cannot fit. The dining hall cannot carry even 300 capacity standing. It was a dining hall that was built when the number was still 700. And that was 2009. From 2009, from 710 students I inherited, today there are 2,010. 66. So our next project, if you allow me, would be to construct a kitchen and a dining hall. The only good thing about it is that the ministry will do the other half, which is the other 5,000, and the parents will do the other 5,000. I would wish to appeal to our alumni. I would really wish to appeal to our alumni. We don't have a library. We don't have a library. The library we have can only sit about 150 students. So our students, you'll find them reading under the trees, reading outside. Of course, when it is under the tree, they'll be sleeping. I would really wish to appeal to the alumni that in their projects that they are planning to do, how I pray that you look at this issue of the, li of the library as one of your priority projects. As the parents are being burdened with the dormitory and the dining hall, I would appeal to our alumni to consider the issue of the library. Now, I have mentioned the issue of the dining hall for 2023 project. I would wish to get your feedback on this. Because as you can see, the other one, I went with your wish of the 7,000 and added 3,000 without you knowing. And you have forgiven me and I've accepted to pay it. But this time I want you to give me your consent that 2023 we put up the dining hall. The government under MIF will take up the 5,000 and the parents will take up the 5,000. If you allow me today. I'm waiting for your response. The parents the budget I was given by the... <laughs> Is it okay? Can we see by show of hands? The majority have it. Our children must eat. The majority have it, Director. Thank you very much, the parents. As you go home with your children, can you make sure you take care of them for me? Let them come back alone. 
After 11 days, they are reporting back on 12th of July. May God bless you as you go back home. Thank you. May I take this chance to invite our guest of honor to come and give us her address, Madam Milka. To the alumni, BOM parents, teachers, students, all invited guests, good afternoon. God is good, and all the time, I want to say parents, it is well. I can see you are very dejected, but it is well, it is well. It is well because the children belong to you and you cannot delegate that function to us and it is only for four years and then they move. So I can see there are parents who are very unhappy but I want to say if we were to vote, excuse me for a parent, if we were to vote, thank God we are going to vote in August but with this one there is no voting. There is no voting because the children belong to you. My child is elsewhere. When I go there, I listen because I'm a role model to my child. When I'm the parent who is seated there, quarreling, and my child is seeing you. My, your child is seeing you quarreling. Your child is seeing you ranting. Your child is seeing you reading the book of lamentation. When you are supposed to be a blessing to your children, I'm so saddened. I'm telling you, where whatever you sow is what you'll reap. This thing is only for four years. I know COVID disrupted our systems, including mine. COVID disrupted our coffers. We are no longer rich, we are struggling. But why do we wake up early in the morning? For our children so that we give them food, so that we support them. Today I want to come with a contrite spirit, in a humble, I want to encourage parents. I know it's difficult to parent now because when I see somebody complaining, sometimes I know the person has some problems because of COVID. We want to appreciate that. But you cannot delegate the function of parenthood. You cannot delegate the function of parenting to me. I also have my children. So parents, that is why I'm saying it is well, it is well. Uh, I know we have talked a lot and you want to go home. My name is Milka Rucho. I'm the County Quality Assurance and Standards Officer here County. I'm standing in for my director, Mr. Nelson Sifuna, who went to take over. He has been promoted to, the, to be the regional director Nyanza and he is now taking over. So if you complain and go to, to Kisumu, by the way our parents like complaining. They, we have so many letters in our offices. If you go to the region now to complain, you are going to get Bwana Nelson Sifuna. <laughs> So I don't know what we are going to do, but I want to say it is well. Please be comforted. Be and feel encouraged. It is only for a season. It is not eight years. It's only four years, and then it passes. So I also wanted to say uh, I'm so happy with the alumni. You know, the alumni, are, they are not given money from elsewhere. They use their own money, their earnings. Then they come and celebrate. They bring books, they bring cards from their hard earned cash. There are schools that have tried to bring the alumni, people have refused. So I want to thank you 
I didn't get all your names, but I, you are doing a good job and we are so proud of you. You have challenged me, even me, I'm going to my CDF school, I'm going to do something. Me, I didn't learn in, a, in, a, in Nia Girls, I was in Nyakach Girls, but because of challenges ya Maisha, Kukosa Karu, I ended up in a, a CDF school, I'm going back to my CDF school and I have to do something. You have challenged me. I want to thank parents. By the way, parents, you people, you are wonderful. Look at the attendance. I look at the positive side. And I've seen many male parents. You know, most male parents delegate the parenting to mamas. Today I'm seeing so many parents, male, supporting their daughters. And I want to tell you, in this country, ladies now are empowered until we have to go back and look for the boy child. And the, the male parents, it is your role also to talk to your sons, because when you are absent most of the time, like now I know you'll be reaching, like those ones who are coming from Kisumu, you'll drop mama in the house with a girl, then you go to a place called bar. This one I say everywhere. Then you will be barroaring there. And then you don't, you miss out as a parent. Please, I want to encourage you this evening. Please have fam family meetings, parents. Male, I'm not talking about ladies. I'm talking about male parents. Please be available even for the boy. The boy is being forgotten in this country. And you can see the kind of leaders we are getting who are graduating from River Road. Thank God I graduated from KU. I saw my classmate here, Madam Matthew, here. That was my classmate in KU. So if I'm told, like, these people are lacking certificates, I have to, I can donate one <laughs> to them. I may not be having a lot of money, but I have my two certificates from KU. Nikipewa airtime, lazima ningare, musiniangalie vibaya. Yes, because kuna watu wakona pesa mingi na wana certificates. They graduated from River Road, they do not have their classmates. Thank God I have my classmates. And that is why I'm challenging your parents. Be, be role models to our children so that our children do not graduate from River Road. Do you know what happens nowadays with our children? They go to the university, they join bad company. The day of graduation, you have booked a bus, you find your child stopped in first year. So that is why I'm challenging you today, be a good model. And you know the parents of Nia girls are parents who are doing a good job. You're already paying fees. We want to encourage you, when you are paying these fees, let us not cry. I told you, let us not read the book of lamentation when you are paying fees. For your own child, whom you planned to get, please. And even if you're supporting a child here, the child belongs to your late sister. Please do not keep on reminding the child. You know, I'm just helping you. Now, we seem to triangle. We are trying to blessings yote kutoka kwako. So, if you decide to pay fees for these children, please do it and uh, encourage the child. Kidogo, kidogo, I just wanted to say, tell the parents, please play this role. Love these girls. The girls need a lot of love. They have to be loved. But I say it. In my speech today, I'll not forget the boy child. As you love the girl, please also show love to the boys. Give these children good education. Please give them food. Guide them. When the girls come for sanitary towels, fathers, please provide. Don't delegate the function to the mother. And I also wanted to tell parents, Wanaume, sometimes you are too busy, you delegate the payment of fees you give to your mama. You give to your wife to go and pay. You are already showing this mama, when you will be old, you shall have retired. Maybe you are the managing director. You have retired, now you are titleless. Mama ataenda ngambo na utabaki because you are not paying fees according to the children. You are delegating the function of payment of fees to your madam. And you know, madams, when they become old, they like bringing the children to them. When they are in US, they send one ticket. They are putting a sander to what God put together. I want to challenge you today, if parents were naume, please do not delegate the function of payment of fees. When the children coming to, are coming to school, please go and shop. Let the children see you paying at the till. 
At we uko busy, you are going for a meeting. Iyo meeting itaisha uke retire. And you will cry. And you will be left at home when unangalia jua. Jua ikenda hivi, unachukua kitu, you keep on turning, looking for a shade. When people are enjoying sausages in U.S., I'm encouraging you today, please do not delegate that function of payment of fees and even taking care of the children. Uh, I think parents are, know what they're supposed to do, and I'm happy that you have listened, and I know you are good parents. Please, I just want to encourage you. I know it is difficult to pay fees, but just try. The children belong to you. Please do not delegate to us. I want to talk to the teachers. The teachers, you are doing a good job. We are very happy with whatever you are doing, but there's something that I needed to tell you. You talk to these children, you label them. You in that class, you have maybe you have 50 students. Some of them are not doing very well. You want to only work with the ones who are doing well. You are supposed to teach each learner. I remember the, the lesson plan, the schemes of work is saying, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able. Not learners, the learner, so individual learner. If you have 50 learners, you are supposed to take care of each of them. Stop labeling children. After all, in that class, kila mtu hawezi pata A. Wache wengine wapate A, wengine wapate A minus, wengine wapate B plus. Ata waki stop at B minus, not bad. But do not label children. At you, you are only teaching the bright ones. I, do, I want to say that teachers, please let us learn how to talk to our students. Let us encourage them. Let us not talk to label them until the students lose hope. Let us handle them with love. Speak to them words of blessing. You know, teachers, you are also parents. Bless the, child, the learners. Don't say negative things. When you are punishing these children, punish them and use corrective and humane. Do not just punish as if you are the first one to punish. And remember, there is no corporal punishment. It is outlawed in this country. When we come, you have gained a child. Some of these children are even born sick. Now we even have children who have diabetes. You kill, you beat them, they die, yet maybe they were sick. So I want to say, teachers, please, let us correct these children and let us be humane. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is that I wanted also our teachers to improve their dress code. Yeah, the teachers are, I know even some of our parents have also dressed poorly. Unakuja kwa mtoto wako na umevani kama unaenda ba. Kwenda. Mimi nitawambia kuna mali mutanipeleka. Una, yani unakuja na tumbo cut for your child. Shame on you mzazi. Dress smartly. Look at the way you are dressed. Why do you expose your body na when you mzazi? Kwenda huko wazazi kama una dress kiba, just look at yourself vile umevaa. I looked at the alumni, they were dressed smartly. I've looked at the principal dressed smartly. Then I've seen a parent tumbo iko inje. Mzazi ka WhatsApp. Na iko Facebook. We, who, which kind of parents are these? Mtoto wa Grade one, anapewa bangi. Na mtoto anasema mimi ni wajakoe. Asijui nani, hizo ni nini? <laughs> you are training your child to be a bank smoker at PP1. I bled, Royangu will bleed. Kwani what has happened to our parents? What has happened to our values? I saw a parent here, tumbo ya koinje. Hey, nikasema God. Ati cleavage, ati matiti ya koinje. I'm, I'm an African child, and I know Matiti anakuwa inje kama una breastfeed. <laughs> Why are you showing us your breast? And yet you are a mother to this girl in form two. And then some of us, you dress like that, you go drink, you sleep outside. You leave the girl alone with the houseboy. Then you come and complain to us that the child is rude. Let us be good role models. Wazazi leo nimewambia. Now, Mimi, today I'm not talking to your children, I'm talking to you. And the teachers, you can see the way I've, I've quarreled parents. Even you, you have to look at yourself. Before you talk to your angalia matiti ya kawapi kama we ni mama. Angalia mgu yangu, ni kubwa, have I even covered it well? 
We have good legs, but we do not have to keep on showing people our legs. The legs are shown elsewhere, not here. Wazazi bado mnanipenda? Wazazi wananipenda? We do not have problems with men. Though some of the male teachers pia wanafaa lungi mewafinya. Lungi mefinya mwalimu mpaka watoto wajui waangalie wapi. Leo nitawambia, mimi nitasita wambia manana ya kujenga, hiyo imesha semwa. Leo I'm talking about dress code. I know walimu wa wata nipenda, but that is my work. I'm in charge of quality. Yes. And quality is also part of, dressing is also part of my work. And I think I've been able at that point. Hata leo mimi wazazi ni mewapata. Mulikuwa kitu wangumu, hata misa hizi ni kitu wangumu. Kwenu, let us dress smartly. Let us show these children. I know the society has become so permissive. But when you go back to ho go back home, guide your child. At the end of the day, the child belongs to you. Okay, pena kumwaribu shauri yako. I know again, these are the parents who have big fridges yenye kuna fridge kuna mdo mumbili. Na unapata imejana wine, imejana beer. Na umeenda job. Watoto ukirudi watapata wamelewa. And then you are blaming the school. When you are called here, you are saying, not my child. You, not your child kitu gani na mtoto amesema, Pombe iko mingi because najua mko na pesa, kulipa ndiya mutaki, pesa mko na yo, mko kwa apa, apa eke loan, nini ni wazazi wa wangia gas, mko juu, shetani ya kutolipa fini na wasumbua, lakini mko na pesa. Siati mumekosa, mko na pesa lakini shetani ni yoyi mwasinda, imewafanya musilipe. I want to advise you, I'm also a parent. Please do not bring bombe nyumbani, ukiwa na watoto wadogo. The children will start getting drunk in this city. And they know that ukisha kunyo unaongeza maji. So when you'll be taking it, you unapata sasa testi kumbaya. Meanwhile, your child is already addicted to bombe. Wazazi badu mpo? I think I've... Uh, Na unashanga na hui mada ya makon authority kutoka kwa api. Authority kutoka kwa Ministry of Education. And I also know it is and to retire. And that is why I'm telling you, the most important thing is family. And family, the, your children. Show them the right way according to the Bible. Show them the right way and they will not depart from it. Hello? Hello. Do you go to church? Yes. Go with your children to church. Don't take them, I know that the ones that have a lot of money, you go to Mombasa, mama na baba wanakunywa, watoto siji, amujueta watoto wanafanya nini. Please let us be, let us bring the family close, so that we do not lose our children. I really don't like what is happening in our country, but I'm a smaller man, so there's nothing I can do. But when I find you like this, and I'm given air time, I have to show you, and I have to tell you. I have to tell you. Please let us take those. I've talked about, let us pay fees while not crying. The children belong to us. These are blessings from God. Let us guide them. Let us love them. Let us provide for them. And I've also told you, the school is, you'll only be here for four years. So, maneno ya kugombana, aa. Four years ni kidogo, rakaraka puta memaliza. Otherwise, we are still happy with you. After all, I said we correct you in love. And remember, we really appreciate your coming and you are the support you are giving our school. We know that the school has not done very well. Last year, our schools went down. But we know that after this, with what we saw here, and the support you are going to give the teachers, we are going to get good results. But you go and talk to your child when you are going to do the work. I used to ask my son in Maranda, when you are going to do the work? I thought you went to read. Kama you are going to ask your daughter, when you are going to do the exams? Wani wao pia ni cooks. Wamekuja kufanya nini? They have come to read. And then they are refusing to do exams. That was quite unfortunate and we would not wish that to repeat. Otherwise, with those many remarks, parents are restless. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We cherish you. Everybody who came here, we love you. 
I know that I, I thought you would be clapping for me because I'm a good speaker. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Makofi tena gameni. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Kila mtu wako na kipawa chake, sivyo? Yes, amefanya na nashukuru sana. Thank you very much. Our uh, chief guest. Thank you, thank you. Now, before we get a vote of thanks and a final prayer, I have uh, some few announcements to make. One is Anna Njenga from 2 North Northeast. There is a parent who was sent to you, so please come to the main uh, arena here so that you can be assisted. Your dad sent a parent to you, but he cannot get hold of you. And Njenga from 2 North Northeast, and then from 2 North Northeast, parents to meet behind the guest tent here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end, so I want three wests. Three wests, I'm also told you are going to meet. I'm told. Uh, at this particular juncture, we may not have time for reactions. Uh, I'm told that the parents of from Falls, bit north, northeast, all the parents of from Falls. Can we all converge here because we had a word as the parent representatives behind the guest tent here? And then also from two north, northeast, and from one west. All of you behind the main tent here. So I want to welcome Mr. Omiti, who is going to uh, pass a vote of uh, thanks. And then the reverend who was uh, sharing with us the prayer during the project opening, Please, can you come close? Karib. Thank you, our EBO MC. My name is Esbo Nomiti. I represent from 2 Southeast. I have a singular duty here of appreciating those who made this po uh, function possible and successful. I would like to start by thanking the parents for coming in large numbers. Thank you so much. And the next time, please, let's come in the same numbers. Number two, I would like to uh, appreciate the entertainers who are our daughters for doing a good job, for making us feel at home. I would also like to thank the teachers who made this possible because they have worked around the clock to make sure that this function becomes a reality. And by extension, the hospitality team for taking care of our food I believe all parents have been uh, have eaten, and we thank the school administration for that. I also would like to thank the chief guest, although in absentia, for having taken time to launch the new dormitory, to launch the gas project, and also the alumni. I'm also thanking the alumni for recognizing that it's always good to go back to where you came from, and we are very happy to see our mothers here and the job they have done, we don't really encourage them to continue motivating our girls so that they become great people like them in future. Last but not least, I would like to thank the parent representatives from all classes for the tireless work they have done and for always coming to school whenever they are called upon to represent the parents. Otherwise, thank you very much, and may you have journey masses when you are going back. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Prayer. MC? Yes. The prayer. Thank you. I want to request for a volunteer to come for a word of prayer, who will lead us in a word of prayer. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just uh, still emphasizing the parent representatives, our parent representatives and the guests will be meeting in the old uh, staff room. 
The parents who did not have a bite, please, we have a meal. And uh, you can go and take your meal that is in the hall. Please, there is some food that was prepared for us, so do not go without having a bite. And then the parent of Brigitte, uh, Brigitte Achan, please, your uh, dad is looking for you. He's in the main dais here, the guest dais. From one northeast, Mali Penye Mulikutana. Oh, sorry, from one south, Mukutani Mali Penye Mulikutania, Wakati Mukona Fanya Utaguzi wa the parent representative. So, uh, I'll request a volunteer, please, who will lead, lead us in a word of prayer. And as I said, the parents who have not taken their uh, lunch, please, you're most welcome at the dining hall. The guests, together with the class reps, we are going or we are converging in the old staff room for one or two uh, points. Otherwise, at uh, this juncture, uh, together with, with Mr. Matuli and myself, we want to say thank you. We are the ones who are in the charge of the MC. God bless you for all that you did and for all that we have gone through. Mahali penya ikufanyika vizuri, tunakuomba msamaa. Pali penya imefanikisha, tumefanikisha na ikaenda vizuri, tunapatia mwenyezi mungu shukran na mola wabariki. Thank you and God bless you as you have your journey masses. Let us stand up and pray. Our loving Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the Father that you have reached. We commit each and every person into your divine hand. As we are traveling back home, may your protection be upon them. May you help them, Jehovah Father, to reach safely. We commit the school in your divine hand, the principal, the teachers, the students, Jehovah Father. We pray for, the, for unity. We pray for the good work that you have started that you will bring an accomplishment. Bless all of us in Jesus' name. I pray with us, giving and everybody to say, Amen. God bless you. Peace. From two northwest, when you come to from first, from parents, from the father, from from two north here. Bridget Hayo, tafadhali. Mtoto mwenye anaitwa Bridget Hayo. Unangoto hapa? From 2 Central, from, from 2 Central. From 2 South to meet where they met on the last uh, time that they were here for the orientation. From 2 South to meet where they met last time. Hayo, from, from 1 West, board posts behind the main dais. Uh, Emma Jacqueline, please come behind the environment tent. Behind here, Emma Jacqueline from 3C, please. From four parents, Tafadali, Tuja Hapa, Hapa, Komenda, yes. From four parents. Scovian from 2C, Scovian. From two years, Melvin Atiyo, Mzazi Akwapa. I am going to go to the next one.